Welcome Scorpio to your monthly reading for August of 2018. So let's look into what's going on with you for August. So the first part of the month. So I feel that this is a different um, format that I'm doing. So um, let me describe to you what I sense here. So I feel that some of you will be working very hard, all right, <laughs> busy, all right, but you are hope heartbroken because you can't make a connect with somebody. I feel that there are two situations clearly that you're dealing with where the heartbreak is there because you're releasing somebody. You are you have them on the back of your mind. It's there. You have moved on from someone and it's just really heavy and it's really giving you a hard time being able to focus, trying your best to do so, but it's, it's there. But I feel like you're being tough. You're getting the work done. You're doing what you need to do. And I feel like your partner is holding on to that resentment or that stress if it's your ex and especially the new person that you are dealing with. Um, they might not be communicating with you. Um, you can work with them. Um, they could be around and it's like um, if even if they work safe, they work with uh, someone that they've dealt with. They could be kind of hiding from them doing you know distancing themselves from that person and not communicating with them or you because of the stress and tension that is there so I feel like both of you are kind of doing your own thing you are detached the heartbreak is definitely uh, tense and I feel like um, success is there uh, materially but um, emotionally you're kind of withdrawn and um, <clears throat> going through the emotions but this is like progress that needs to happen maybe because you're on the up and up with someone else that you might be anticipating all right so as the week two approaches i feel that a lot of you might be struggling you know your confidence might take a hit uh because yeah you're focusing on career things might be going well there but you want somebody around all right you want that person to potentially communicate with you to open up to you um to see how things might be going and even if you some of you might not even feel like giving your energy to another person so you might be kind of seeking others and seeing how well things go so um, seeing if you can get other suitors because you might not be really sure about that particular person this could be through resentment if they didn't pay you any attention before if they could have been sliding you and not understanding what predicament you might have been in because you was dealing with something where you was trying to find closure and they kind of left you hanging so I feel like you know there could be some issues there could be say you might be going out and spending a lot of money in uh, the second week of August to spruce up to make yourself feel good you know a bit more attractive whatever it could be some nice clothes or whatever it could be doing all of that to put yourself out there so others can kind of recognize you but then it doesn't work because I feel like sometimes the universe may want you with a specific person so be careful about going to extremes to pull in you know the attention that you seek from other admirers because I feel like there is a plan for you and someone else that you can feel that you have an idea about and I feel like um, just watch the spending habits and hold on to your money if you can now I'm giving to you know um, uh, some kind of charity or trying to help somebody even helping yourself in different ways is good but just try to be mindful of the um, spending that is not necessary so your partner being very stubborn I feel um, whoever you might be dealing with love potential interest marriage partner um, I feel like they might have an issue with opening up to you again because of some kind of past issues and maybe because they could be dealing with something in their past where they're constantly maybe thinking about should I stay should I go they're like well you you were doing that kind of thing you were indecisive about the past and should you stay and go so what's wrong with me doing that something like that could be going on so I feel like they might be shutting you down you're shutting them down you're not liking the uh, the start the stalemate that's between y'all in the second week of August so there is potentially some uh, delay there but um, just be mindful a lot of times we feel dejected or rejected and that's not really the reality of things it's just the energy and what we need to go through and you know people you know have their own decisions to make and we have free will so there's disconnect all right so the third week of August I feel that there is still this kind of energy where some of you are not openly uh, expressing yourself you can have a lot of steam that you're holding on to but remember that the steam can build up and it can burst and I feel like it could lead to temptation it could lead you into seeking others as we was talking about before see the momentum is picking up and I feel like you're you could be doing this because the person that you were dealing with say if there was a breakup or you two separated they could be indecisive uh, about you and they could be kind of confused whether or not you're really for them because you're not speaking to them and plus they might see you 
that you're flirting with somebody else, that you're opening up to someone else, that you might be seeking others' attention, so they're not sure about you. So they could be thinking, well, this is this is not for me. You know, um, we, we were not communicating. We really don't have access to one another like we should or could. So I'm not sure what to think. That's the person that you're dealing with, thinking this about you. And you might be thinking this about them as well. So I feel like there might be two different people that you are dealing with them or three. All right. Um, it just depends there. But I feel like two different kind of personalities that you could be taking on at two different times, maybe um, because sometimes you might not feel like you have any other choice. You might even be dealing with um, some of you dealt with certain psychological things like trauma um, where you sometimes ran into um, issues where you were diagnosed with some kind of personality disorder you might have dealt with someone that dealt with these things and you try to accept it you try to understand what it might be that may have been a message sent to you by the universe in some way I don't usually <laughs> talk about these things but they're coming to me which is meaning that message might be personal to some of you out there so you might be dealing with something like that and the reason why someone keeps having these patterns but you know sometimes they make a mistake and this is maybe a process of forgiving them and seeing how things might go because they could be on the verge of healing themselves and trying to get some help you know looking for ways to heal uh, through um, counseling and different kinds of services so keep that in mind all right the fourth week of August I feel there's still <laughs> this energy of you having things on your mind where you can't let something go something that you've either done someone that something that someone has done to you and then there starts this jealousy starts to build up you have possessiveness going on you're not able to get someone you know um, maybe another chance to open up so they're thinking about you yeah but they don't have closure with their past they don't have closure because you Two, we're not talking about certain things you know you kind of brushed brushed over it now that's the you know sometimes people can do it they can confront with certain issues but sometimes when these things are too heavy and there are secrets going on people don't want to let it you know the cat out of the bag because then rumors start to spread and you don't want that to start to happen and then you know a whole month can go by and nobody is saying anything so i do see potential for you know some of you might be around your ex-partner you might not be communicating that much still working through the process of being able to move on let that go and then move into other opportunities with someone that you are trying to get to know but that's still a, a stall in progress as well but i feel like love is on the table and it's still something that you two are building towards and it's been maybe a constant obstacle over and over again each month but it still takes you to kind of adapt to um what needs to change and what's not working and what can work uh, through time all right and perseverance so that's going to be your reading all right i send you tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one